Hello my amazing Pisces friends. Welcome to the new week. So I'm super excited to have you guys here. As always, this is a general message for the general public. So take what applies and the rest, well, you know, let it fly and then catch me next week. <laughs> so as always, if you guys do want to go deeper with your reading once it's over, feel free to book a one-on-one -on -one, um, session with me. The information is below and I love to see you there. So Let's get started into this reading, okay? Let's see what Spirit has for you guys for the week. So Spirit, can you please step forward for the Pisces and for their highest and greatest good? And can you please show me the divine Spirit guided message that you have for the Pisces this week? Okay. Defend to the end the worthwhile. Mm. You know, every time I see this oracle card, I just instantly think, okay, what are you holding on to that matters and what doesn't? And how can we let go of the things that don't serve us? Now let's shuffle and see what spirit has through the tarot. So spirit, please step forward for the Pisces and their highest and greatest good. Oh, King of Pentacles, interesting. Now spirit, please step forward for the Pisces for their highest and greatest good and show me what is this divine oh king of pentacles again okay <laughs> interesting what is the divine guided message for the pisces this week spirit what is the divine guided message for the pisces this week okay you know what's interesting pisces the king of pentacles popped out reversed and then it popped out upright. And then holy shit, here he is again. It's it's so funny because as I'm seeing him, it makes me wonder, what are you done with? What is the bullshit that you are literally like done with in your life? Because when I see the King of Pentacles, I just think of a person who's like, listen, don't bullcrap me. Like I know a bullcrapper when I see one. I know a phony when I see it. I know you're not telling me the truth. Like you, you guys are just so mystical and magical and you guys just know. And the point that I'm making is this week, it feels like if something isn't adding up, you are not going to have any problem saying either get out of my space because you're protecting your peace or there's going to be this feeling of like, I'm not even entertaining it. I'm not even going to respond. I've been there. I've done that. So this is very interesting, which takes me back to the Oracle card in our beginning, which is defend to the end the worthwhile. And then if we really want to go deep and take it into numerology and we add this two plus three it equals five, which is about change. So this is really, really amazing. So Pisces, again, this, this week is about you really protecting your peace because when it's, the message is coming through so clear and I feel like I don't even need to look at the tarot. It's just coming through energetically and spiritually. Spirit is saying like you have poured so much into everybody else. Like you are that friend that is reliable. You are that friend that is dependable. You are that lover that can be count on, counted on. Like you are always that person and all you want is to be appreciated all you want is to be acknowledged all you want is to be heard and loved and supported the same way that you love and support everyone else and i feel like maybe that wasn't given to you properly now again this is a general message so there may be some of you have made that may have very well been loved on and um, this may be referring to a job. Maybe you've been overlooked for a job or maybe something else. You know what I mean? Maybe you're, you're an artist and someone doesn't believe in your work. You're not getting paid what you deserve or are deserved. Whatever the case may be. I feel like, again, you give so much of yourself, Pisces, that all you really want is to be loved in return. Is just to be seen for who you are. And it's not like you need some big grand gesture all you need sometimes is a thank you and a, and I appreciate you a I love you text or a message like that's all you need and I feel like because you didn't get it you've chosen to commit to yourself you're like listen if you're not going to tell me I'm good enough if you're not going to say you appreciate me if you're not going to sit here and acknowledge all of the hard work that I do and everything that I sacrifice for you or that I give to you well then you know what I'm going to give it to myself 
<laughs> and it takes me back to the king of pentacles because you're not with the bull crap <laughs> pisces you have been there you have done that you have spent your precious time energy and effort on people who didn't matter or situations that didn't matter that you're not doing it anymore you are literally choosing yourself now some days it's easier said than done because truth is like the people who did you wrong, it should have never even went like that. And if it is people or whatever the situation was that went left, it should have just never happened like that. Because at your core, you would never do people the way that sometimes they do you. Like, it's just crazy, right? Like, you love, you give, you support. And for some people or situations to be just so foul and dirty, it's like, well, how dare you? It feels like people are getting away with murder right so spirit is saying this week it's about choosing you but not just about choosing you it's about really recognizing and and dealing with that emotional stress anxiety disappointment sadness whatever that came with people not choosing you or not acknowledging you because it's easy and i feel like at the time of your birthday pisces you guys had this fire or water so to speak right you guys were flowing in your energy field you guys were doing your thing you felt alive it was your birthday season and now that we're coming out of it and we're going into fire energy which doesn't necessarily deal well with with water as we enter the beginning of the astrological new year in aries we're seeing there's a shift in your energy pisces and as much as you want to be like yo f you like I, I have supported, I have done, I have given and given and given. Like, what else do you want out of me? So now I'm going to choose myself. And at first, I feel like it was full of power. It was full of strength. You choosing you was like, oh, I'm choosing me because I have to. Because I'm strong and I'm enough and I'm worthy. Because all you really want is the stability. Like I said, all you want is to be acknowledged. You want to be loved. You want to be supported. You're not one that needs to be rich. You don't need to be famous. You don't need to be braggadocious. You do what you do because you love. You love the people you do it for. You love yourself. You love your cause. That's why. And this week, again, is going to be a reminder and maybe even a little triggering of the things that weren't necessarily for you. This week is going to remind you of that uphill battle that you've been on before. But the most beautiful thing about being reminded of certain triggers and a feeling of going uphill is that whatever imbalance there was, now you have a chance to balance it out. You may have been going too hard on your confidence where you started to lose yourself. Maybe you started trying to prove a point instead of protect your peace. And now it's about just getting that flow back, just finding your feeding again. Reminding yourself that you are the prize. Reminding yourself that you're the one you do this for. Putting yourself first. Because again, whoever didn't put you first or whatever didn't work out for you, it was unfair. It wasn't even right. It should have never even happened. So now, as we go through this week, naturally as Pisces, you guys are emotional. And there's a lot of beauty in being emotional. So this isn't a, a jab or anything by, of, of that nature. I'm emotional myself. Um, but when your emotions does come up this week from those triggering moments, it's very important spirit is saying to just stay grounded and think with your mind and your head and not necessarily your heart because there's been a lot of times, Pisces, when your heart has gotten you in trouble because you are so loving and you are so nurturing, you're so giving, you just give your heart away to sometimes people who don't hold it and nurture it the same way you would. So Spirit is saying this week, try to be void of so many emotions and more logical and rational about your next move. Now, what's interesting is, is that things may have fallen apart for you. Like I said, if there wasn't an acknowledgement, it may have been in terms of a relationship. It may have been in terms of a friendship, especially with that Libra full moon that we just had. It highlighted a lot about balance and relationships, a lot of what your spread is actually talking about, Pisces. But whatever the case may be, 
these truths this week are coming up for a reason. They're not coming up to hurt you. They're not coming up to trigger you in a bad way. If anything, they're coming up to inspire you to create something new for yourself. This week, that pain is reminding you to defend to the end only what is worthwhile. That means whatever doesn't deserve your, your energy, your patience, your love, remove it. Remove it with love. It doesn't have to be like, F you, go away. <laughs> it can be more like, hey, this isn't for me. This isn't my vibe. This isn't me honoring myself. I catch you when I catch you, if I catch you, you know? So this is a very beautiful week. Things are going to come up so it can even the playing field again. So remember, just to hold strong. Now let's see what message of encouragement Spirit has for you as we leave. Now Spirit... Please step forward for, you know what? I have to just take a pause because spirit is showing me this 10 of um, cups reversed. What's interesting is that I feel like this week, you're going to see your 10 of cups reversed, which is this feeling like something's missing. Something's not right. Your dream not has not manifested ideally. But when that happens, Pisces, this is that moment to manifest it the right way. Spirit is telling me. Spirit is saying that when something doesn't feel right, speak what does. I am so thankful, Spirit, for my beautiful family that is healthy, thriving, safe, loyal, committed, etc., etc. So know that as things are falling apart magically, mystically, just like you, Pisces, everything is falling together. Now, let's see what the encouragement is for the week. Now, Divine Spirit, please step forward for the Pisces and their highest and greatest good. And show me, what is the encouragement you have for the Pisces this week? Ooh, against the grain. <laughs> so, as you know, when someone goes against the grain, it can be uncomfortable. It can take muscle, it can take effort, but guess what, when you do it, it sets its own trail. It sets a new trail. And that's what you're doing this week, Pisces. You're going and you're feeling the past. And it's so interesting because this is water. You know what I mean? You're water. And now it's time to go against your normal tide. You have to go the opposite way. So you're going to be going back and you're going to be feeling things. And you're going to be experiencing things this week, um, Pisces. But the beautiful thing about experiencing it and going against the grain is that now you're making a new lane. You're making a new path. You're carving a new direction for yourself that's free from whatever it was that may have been in the past that didn't serve you. So remember... This week is about protecting your feast, your peace, excuse me, defending to the end what is worthwhile and going your own course, going against the grain, doing something unfamiliar, getting uncomfortable so you can be comfortable later. So I love you guys. This was, I feel like this was a very beautiful healing message. And again, as always, if you want to go deeper one-on-one -on -one with me, you can feel free to book with me. All of our information is below. I love you guys and I'll see you next week. Bye.